Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios, and this is an excerpt from our brand new course, The Complete Guide to Editing in Affinity Photos. So if you like what you see and you want 10 solid hours of what we got here, go ahead, check out the link below for a special offer for our YouTube family. All right, let's go ahead and get with the learning. All right, folks, welcome to Affinity Photos. So we're gonna be making particle brushes. Now, particle brushes are one of my favorite things to make because you can use them in an infinite variety of ways. I use them to do snow, magical effects, embers in flame. And if you understand the basic technique, you can make large ones, small ones, you can make ones for texture. So once you understand the technique, there's really no limit to what you can make with them and the types of brushes you can make. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel workspace. And the first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna create a pixel layer. I'm gonna come up and I'm going to fill it black. All right, we got one of those. Now right click, duplicate. And now this is where all the magic's gonna happen. Now, let me kinda help you out here. You're gonna to wanna to zoom in a little bit here, just a little bit. I'm gonna keep zoomed out so you see what happened, but you're gonna to wanna to zoom in eventually. And we're going to go to filters, noise, per lin noise. Now this is where all the magic happens. Ah, it doesn't look like magic, does it? Now you'll notice nothing has happened here because when you come over to the color, in order to see the per lin noise, you have to have noise that's not black. So you want to now drop that down to white. So what you're doing, you're putting white noise on top of a black layer. That's why we had to fill it in black. Now the way this works, if you zoom in, you're gonna lose the noise here for a second. So notice here, if I zoom in, you're not gonna be able to adjust the noise, but if you come back up, you are gonna be able then to come back into noise, go to Perlin noise, and you're right back where you started. Now, here's the difference between big particles and small particles is the amount of zoom. Zoom gives you little, little particles. Higher zoom gives you bigger particles. So if you wanted to create something like a really gritty, rough snow, you would probably want some bigger particles. If you wanted fine, fine texture, you probably want low zoom. I'm gonna create something here in the middle. I'm gonna keep it about 19 pixels. My octaves are down to two and my persistence is 78. And when you're ready, apply. All right, now you've just applied the destructive filter to the layer, but now we have to apply a levels adjustment. Now the levels adjustment is applied so that we can separate out the whitest parts of the noise. So you see the flakes, if you're making a snow brush, begin to appear. So shift the levels until you get it where you want it. All right, now, if you ever want to, you can come in, zoom in. That actually looks pretty good to me. I might go a little bit further, and I might crunch this just a little bit further. All right, so to me, that's a good one. This is gonna give me a large, chunky type of snow. All right, so close the levels, done. And now we need to invert it because remember on an intensity brush, black is going to reveal. So we don't want the white to show, we want the black. So let's go ahead and let's invert it. All right, there is our snow. All right, looks pretty darn good. So now what we have to do is we have to come in and we have to create a brush in a way. Now, there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the easiest way that I found. Take all three of these layers, group them together into a group, right? And now, let's go ahead and turn this off. We don't need that anymore. And now, come over and use a brush. Let's use a round brush, basic old round brush. And let's go ahead and delete. Now, 
Notice the flow. We want the flow up to 100%. And I just want to knock all of this 100% out from around this thing here. Okay, so there should be nothing left on the sides. Okay, make sure you get everything out of the sides because you really don't want a square brush. All right, once all this is done, go to File, Export. Now make sure you're on PNG, Export, and let's call this Rough Snow Brush because that's kind of what we made it for. All right, cool. Now, let's try it. I'm going to come in, I'm going to File New, and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a test patch for us. And now, I like to test my brushes on black. You can test them however you want. And let's make the brush now. Let's come over here. I'm going to create a category called Snow Brushes, and I've already got a couple. So let's go ahead and let's create a new intensity brush. Find the rough snow brush that you created. Open it up. I like my size to be about a thousand. That's just where I like to do my default brushes. And I increase my spacing so that I get good spacing in between here. And we go ahead and we close. Now if I come over. Now why can't I see that? We now have a pretty good snow brush. But you see over on the corners. I did miss some erasing, so we're going to bring this back. We're going to come back. I'm going to grab another hard brush. I'm going to grab my eraser. And I'm going to make sure I do the job I was supposed to do before. I missed a couple. Yep, now we're in the business. Yep, you see all those corners are gone now? All right, now how does this work? Let's take an image like this young lady here. Let's go ahead and dock the layers panel because I don't need it. Let's dock the brush panel because I don't need it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up with white selected. I'm going to add a pixel there. And now I'm just going to add some snow. All right, now that doesn't quite look like snow. Now watch what happens. Come up to layer, live filter layer, blur it, motion blur this. Let's go ahead and motion blur it a little bit. There we go. And let's do this. Let's have the snow coming down at about 90 degrees. That looks pretty good. And now let's add another layer. And now I'm going to go into the brushes. I did include all of these snow brushes for you. I'm going to use my small snow brush. Now notice the settings on this. I've got the size, I've got the spacing down low, and I've got some texture involved here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop that over. I'm going to put that down below the rough. And now I'm going to come up to layer. Oops. No, not fade. Layer. Live adjustment layer. Blur. Motion blur. And let's go ahead and drop this down. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop the opacity of it too. That'll work. Let's go ahead and drop this opacity down just a little bit. All right. Cool. So that is one application for the snow brushes. Now, brushes are very powerful when combined with styles. So I've included my snow brushes. You've got a large snow, you've got a fine snow, and then we've got the snow that we just made. And remember, if you ever wanted to modify this, all you have to do when you create the noise layer is just reduce the zoom to get a smaller size. Because what you can also do, I have a particle brush set here that has a variety of particles, and I've used them to make say these particles for this warrior image and what I do usually is I'll come over here and I'll just do this roughly this is not going to be a whole thing I'll create this area here well, let's use this particle here and I'll create maybe use yellow let's say 
And then I'll come over and I've got a pre-done style for fire and smoke in which I add embers. There we go. Look at that. Maybe in another lesson, I'll be showing you how to make styles. Maybe, probably, definitely. That might be the next one coming up. All right, folks, let's go ahead and call it on this one. Now you have a particle brush. There is no limit to the particle brushes you can make. And what I'm going to do, because I care about you guys, I'm going to export my particle brush set here plus my snow brush set here so that you guys can download them and use them in your own art. All right, we'll see you in the next one.